Shalom, shalom. Giving our praises to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh Shah. Uh, here, you know, uh, I guess this week, uh, I opened my Facebook page back up, <clears throat> seen all the the rhetoric that is going on out there, the backbiting, the niggerism. Uh, Y'all gonna learn that people that speak negative about anything of Israel is not in the spirit, and most of them are in sin. I'm just gonna tell you. I went to Walmart yesterday and pick up a few things before the seven. Seen a guy, he was like, Shalom, Shalom. Come running over there, you know, <clears throat> talking about First thing he said is the chart. So I just look down where your fringes. See, it's like I tell the family in here, everybody want that $20. Everybody see that $20 bill laying down on the ground? They'll, they'll hurt somebody to get to it. But if they see that penny, ah, that ain't important. Some of these, these guys, they don't have no foundation. So all their job is to do is to cause confusion in Israel. And this is going for the camps that is keeping up the confusion. Why? Why speak negative of your brother when we're going to go to the same place? Why? Because of your elder? No. We don't do that here. <coughs> we don't have our brothers in here speaking negative of nobody. We trying to be a positive as positivity. In, in, in all our people. That's right. We're not here to cause division, man. We see our brothers out there doing the work, man. We salute them, man, because it's a hard job. But when you got camps that acting stupid, just like the people's out there that's individual likes, all they got to do is make videos of people's. That's a jealousy spirit, man. Because we got the same enemy, but we act like we our own enemies. That's just showing you that some of these Israel niggas are what it is. And it starts with some of these old camps, the ones that I have up there. Kill the division. That's what I'm calling out for today, to kill the division, man. If you can't pick up the phone and call that other elder, then you got a problem. You got a spirit on you, no matter which camp you come from. You shouldn't be allowing your men or the peoples in your congregation to speak negative of your brother. So, and, and you got a lot of them around here, man, for the pride. If it ain't coming from us, you ain't in the truth. What scripture is that? Somebody pulled me a scripture. What scripture said we supposed to be up under one man? Pull me a scripture. See, a lot of talking goes on in Israel, but come with the scriptures. The problem is, a lot of people are seeing, man. That's the problem. But let's dive into it. Let's go to Jeremiah 32 and 30. See, I just see the things going on where it could be, it could be stopped. But no, they sit back and allow it. Making songs about each other, man. Showing the world that we a bunch of Israel niggas, man. What makes you make a song about your brother, man? This ain't, this ain't, that let me know that you still got that nigga spirit on you, man. That's what they do out there in that world. If you think it positive, we got the same enemy. I line up beside any of my brothers that they call. You've been seeing that lately. We reach out to each other, man. It's just some. Some people want a Lord over their congregation. They don't want unity, man. They want to continue the division. That's why there's so much of it going on in these schools and these Facebook Israelites, man. One of them leave the school. All they got is negative things to say about the school now. They're not going to go tell you nothing positive that that school did for them. They're not going to speak nothing positive that that school wretch out and did for them. See, that's, that's the mind of a nigga. To read out the book of Jeremiah, chapter 32 and verse 30. For the children of Israel and the children of Judah have only done evil before me from their youth. See, they still are doing the same thing, man. 
It's evil to speak up of your brother. It's evil to speak some of your sister. And you got a lot of wicked ass sisters out here too, man. I'm not going to, I'm not going to slide, let them slide, man. They grew up in a school, they want to be like what they want to be. They want it to turn into what they want it to be. Most high said men's over these camps. We don't. For the children of Israel have only provoked me to anger with the works of their hands. With the works of their hands, man. That's what they do. Anytime they got a chance, they looking for something in Israel. I got something negative to say about them. They, they wait, man. They, they lurk. Anytime something negative, uh, or they'll call you at 3 o'clock in the morning looking for some information. Not worrying about if you're okay, if you safe. Not worried about your well-being. These are Israel niggas, man. Be warned of them. We serve the Lord. Says who? Serve the Lord. Says the Lord, man. Not me. Says the Lord. Give me Ezekiel 16, 15. Hey, somebody turn that fan off just a little bit. Ezekiel 16, 15. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, verse 15. But thou didst trust in thy own beauty. See, they see they thinking they they in beauty. No, this is talking about your vision. See, they trust in their own beauty, man. They trust in their own wicked ways. See, kill the madness. It starts up top. All the leaders got to do is say, kill it. But they won't. They love it because there was a division coming out of one west. And they they, they keeping that same grudge, man. And the same thing is going on. We and place the harlot. And what? And place the harlot. They play the harlot, man. Permissive, man. Always keeping up drama. That's what a harlot is, man. Someone that's not in the spirit. We, because of thy renown. Because, because of their fame. They on videos now. They feel like they got rap videos, man. They feel like they doing the work. Nigga, you ain't nobody hearing that garbage, man. Some of you Negroes are in sin. And I'm going to call you out today. I don't care about you making a video about me. I'm never going to make a video about you. But I'm calling out the wickedness now, man. I'm proud of Israel being Israel niggas, man. You got people that's all they do. They make music, man. They ain't out here on them street corners. Then you got these ones sit back on their keyboard. <clears throat> that's all they do is want to talk about each other. That is not an Israelite. That's an Israel nigga. Let me tell you something. When you how wish I get here, your elder might not make it. How you gonna like that? Are you gonna then turn your your your, your lip up at, at the at the power? No, you're not. Nobody knows the rank when the power get here. See, you better open up your eyes and start looking, man, and examining things on for yourself. We don't. And pour us out thy fornication on every word that passed by. They pour, pour out their fornication, man. They all on Facebook. That's all they do is keep up garbage, man. And for this Israel nigga that I seen up in Walmart, man, I said, brother, how long you been in the truth? He said, a year and a half. I know he was lying. Probably been in there about six months talking about a chart. So I asked him, where your chart at? Tell me how to break it down then. See, they want to talk then. Show me some in the scriptures where they what you're talking about. See, he ain't got they ain't got no grounds to stand on, man. Then you got schools out here with Edomites married to the Arab nation. That's why their name is not up there, man, because they're an abomination to God. Running around here putting this effeminate spirit on our brothers. We are spiritual war, man. We don't. Yes, it was. It is, it was, man. Whatever they want to push, they push, man. Especially when your elder's sitting up there without a beard on his face when he used to have one. But they make excuses for these wicked mans, man. Some of these guys sitting up over these congregations are wicked mans. It's going to flex the one's spirit that's wicked. See, because they, I've been in the truth 20 years. Who cares? All your works will go for naught if you're not keeping these commandments. And doing as the power say. Back to Jeremiah 32 and 32. Jeremiah 32 and 32. See, because I'm sick of looking, turning on, on Facebook and seeing the madness, man. <clears throat> and a lot of these brothers got the weak, eminent spirits, man. Read the book of Jeremiah, chapter 32 and verse 32. 
because of all the evil of the children of Israel. See, because it's evil, man. It's evil, man. It's evil to sit up and, and, and diss your brother. So, so we got one common enemy, but we look, we, we too busy looking at each other. We too busy got an eye on the next school, trying to tear it down. You know what? The problem is, people don't like to examine themselves. They want to examine everybody around them. And I tell you, it starts with you. Read. Of, of the children of Judah, which they have done to provoke me to anger. They, they continue doing these things, man. They continue to provoke in the power to anger. Read on. They, their kings, their princes, their priests, and their prophets, and the men of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Give me Zechariah 7 and 9, man. We're doing the same thing, man. Israel had changed. All you see is some people walking around here with garments on, man. Still niggas, man. Still got that nigga spirit because guess what? It starts from the top, man. You don't hear the mess coming out of here. <clears throat> because I tell brothers, get you a foundation, man. Don't have a jealous spirit. You got Israelites that see you together, won't even speak to you, man. What kind of spirit is that on a brother? And then you expect for these wicked Negroes out there, this, these keyboard kings, man, to have respect for what we're doing, man. It, it, it's madness out there, man. Read up the book of Zechariah, chapter 7 and verse 9. Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts. See, I'm going by what the power say, man. I'm not in here to please a man, man. Some of them are yes men in some of these schools, man. They thinking the elder is your Howard shot. No. Learn your place. Your elder ain't worthy of even tying his shoe, man. Your elder ain't worthy of even sitting beside him if he allowing y'all to make songs and to diss each other. That's not an elder, man. He's going to snuff that stuff out. We don't say execute true judgment. We say what execute true judgment? Is that true judgment amongst Israel, man? No. See, cause some of us got got weasels in the camp, man. Some of us got little soft, effeminate men in these schools, man. And all they do is know how to hurt 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 the, the nation. You're supposed to be patient with your brother, man. That door is open to anybody. I don't care what the problem is. I have no problem with nobody in Israel, man. Ain't nobody stole my car. Ain't nobody broke in my house in Israel. So why you got to talk about your brother? Mind your business, man. And do the work. Read. And show mercy. And show what? And show mercy. It's not happening in Israel, man. We too busy want to talk about each other, man. That's, 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 that's an Israel nigga. A nigga. Yeah, I'm calling you out. I salute all of those elders, man. They've done a tremendous job, but it's time for them to, to kill the drama. We don't. A compassion. Every man to his brother. A what? Every, a compassion. Every man to his brother. It, it's that's not being shown in Israel, man. We acting like thugs, rappers. Causing division, man. We don't. And don't press not the widows. And don't press not the widows, man. Read. Nor the fatherless. Nor the fatherless. Read. The stranger. Nor the poor. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. See, they got evil. They let you know they're not in the spirit, man. I'm going to let you know. If you ever allowing that, shut it down. Shut it down. Because we the light. So if the light is full, then what the people's going to act like? They see this garbage that goes on, man. They see the madness. So I'm here to speak about it, man. We don't. But they refuse to hurt. What, what, what Israel like to do? But they refuse to hurt. They hate listening, man. But they want you to listen to them. See? It should be more unity in Israel, man. Let's show the world who we are. We are the children of Israel. 
us, right? We're not the children of niggas, man. And a lot of y'all don't understand. A lot of these Israelites ain't gonna make it if they don't listen. Read on. And pulled away the shoulder. They pulled away their shoulders, man. I don't want to hear what that Israel man saying over there because that's not us. We want division. We want we not we're gonna sit out on the street corner and teach against our brother to an Edomite. See, these things happen, man. I'm a witness to it. We're gonna teach against our own brother to na to people that are sheep. We're supposed to be positive to the nation, man. How can we when we cause a division? We don't. They stop their ears. They like to stop their ears because they don't. No, don't listen to that video, man. Because a lot of them in these schools will get, uh, well, start traveling, going to where, to where it's positive going on all day, every day. They don't need to be up in their way. We out trying to outdo each other. That's, that's, that's competition. We're not about that. Let one of our brothers call from another school and need us. We're going to be there. That's right. We're not going to be Israel niggas, man, and hang the phone up. We're not going to be sitting back letting our men destroy the nation. We are here. We reach out to all our brothers. We are a family. That's right. We don't. But they should not hear it. See, they don't want to hear that, man, because they want to sit up on the high holy seat. That's their problem. Some of them want to be worship, man. Read. Read. They made their hearts as an adamant stone. Hard-headed, man. Some Israel niggas around here. Read. Yes, they should hear the law. They should hear what? The law. They don't want to hear the law, man. Because some of them, they, they, they 95% in the book. Some of them, 85% in the book. Some of them, 10% in the book, man. That's how it is with Israel. They don't want to go in here and apply these laws. Because if you don't, if your lifestyle don't match up with this Bible, guess what? You're going into the lake of fire. That's right. We don't. And the words which the Lord of hosts have sent in his spirit by the former prophet. See, the most high sent them sending these words, man. Oh, no. And then they always want to speak for the most high. Tell them who he dealing with and who he not dealing with. He dealing with my elder. You know, the wicked as hell, man. Because you wicked. That's the problem with our nation. We own. Therefore, came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Came great anger, man. We 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 shouldn't have the division amongst Israel. We shouldn't have this madness going on. This whole thing is basic. We got people out here trying to make it hard, man. I'ma salute my brothers when I see a man. I'm a brutal man. I'm a cause I respect what they do out there in that street, man. Read. Therefore, it has come to pass. Read. That as he cried, that as Yahweh shall cry, and they would not hear. They don't want to hear either, man. Read. So they cry. Now we the one cry, read. And I would not hear. They don't want to hear nothing coming, man, because they wicked as hell. Read. Say it the Lord of hosts. Say it who? Say it the Lord of hosts. Jeremiah 7 and 23, man. See. If they was acting and had things in order, see, some of them worship the elder, man. That's what's wrong with some of the people coming to truth, man. Because they, they did it in Christianity. They worship Pastor Pig Knuckles. Instead of us attacking the enemy, we want to attack each other. Instead of us attacking the false doctrines out there, we want to make videos about each other. Instead of us doing the work that the Lord called us to do, we got hatred for our brother, man. That's what's going on in Israel. And let me tell you something. I'm talking, bro, I'm talking about sisters too. You got a lot of wicked ass sisters out here, man. Division is, is they is they is they glory. But Christ called for unity, peace amongst the nation. Read out the book of Jeremiah, chapter seven and verse twenty-three. But this thing commanded I did. So he says, but this thing commanded. I did read, say, read on, obey my voice. Oh, what? Obey my voice. See, these, you let you know that these people say in the spirit, man, because they, they, they allow this. They allow this. They allow these things to continue, man. They don't want to apply the scriptures, Matthew 18, 15. Mm -hmm. 
They don't want to call, pick up the phone and call their brother, man. Now they want to sit back and you, you, you laugh about it. Yeah, man, we, we could have been with No, you didn't. That's a nigga spirit. We, and I will be your God. You what? And I will be your God. So some of y'all got to understand, man. And I'm going to tell you something about these, these, these Facebook cafe Israelite niggas, man, and sisters. They, they're not in the spirit, man. A lot of them in the sin. That's their problem. That's why they speak about against everything. They're not gathering with their nation. They're not doing nothing, man. They're not keeping no high holy day. They got an excuse for everything. That's a nigga to me, man. And when you see me out, keep walking, man, if you're an Israel nigga, man. I don't want to discuss nothing with you. Because I tell these, these, these cats when I'm out there in the streets, I travel alone, man. Because I get busy with one of y'all out there in the street, man. I'm not hearing that garbage. You get mad because I don't want to hear that garbage coming out your mouth. We don't. And you shall be my people. And you shall what? And you shall be my people. We don't. And walk you in all the ways that I have commanded you. See, they don't want to do that, man. How we going to go to the wilderness? We got Camp C over here, Camp B over there, and they, it's, it's division in the, in, in the wilderness, man. Christ going to deal with them niggas, man. He's going to purge them out. Because they're going to be still trying to look at the elder study, understanding Christ say, follow me. We, we are here to teach and give the information. We ain't here to be worshipped, uh, to be put on a pedestal, man. We're not here to look for fame. Some of us, that's all they're here for. They hear their name ringing throughout the system. We don't. That it may be well unto you. That it may be well unto you, man. <laughs> Zephaniah 2 and 1. That it may be well unto you. And now, let's deal with this. You got these people, man. Well, they go, they've been in church all their life. But now when it comes down to a school or a camp, where will we be without camps, man? How many of you woke up watching Pastor Pig Knuckles? <clears throat> Excuse me. How many of you woke up on Facebook? Christ woke you up. The Spirit came to you. Why? Because he got the prophets out here, got boots on the ground, man. He, we out there in the city. Then this effeminate Israelite, man, y'all out there bashing people. No, nah, Negro, you got an effeminate spirit, man. I can tell when brothers got effeminate spirit, they got a problem with everything, man. They're not examining themselves, man. That's the problem with Israel. We got a problem with everything, but we don't understand the power is behind what we're doing. No, we got to look at you like a nigga, with, like the nigga roll with that banana in his mouth, man. That's how we got to be looking at each other, man. We got hatred for our own peoples, man. You ain't out there standing on that concrete, man. But we out there bashing. How can an Israelite, that let me know his, his spirit was effeminate, man. Like I told the brother, I, I holler at you, man. You can take what you want and go where you want to go with it. See, that's what's wrong with some of these these these, these weak, feminist Israelites, man. They won't follow us, man. They don't know how to lead because the Most High is not even dealing with them. Read on. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 of those read. Gather yourselves together. No, give me that Kermit, man. Let me show you what they specialty is, man. I always say this, man. You got these internet, Facebook, man. Look at them. Look, Kermit. That ain't go right there. They, 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 they responded, man. They ain't got nothing to do all day, man. Get off the keyboard. I, how you gonna learn to get along with your brothers when this is all you do, man? All day, every day, man. <laughs> That's all they do, man. They want to respond, man. I got, I got it. I'm going to get this nigga, man. You know, that's how they be. This is how they get down, man. Hatred. That's hatred right there. Slow down, Kermit. See? I'm responding to him, man, because I ain't like his post, man. Just keep going. Because I see posts I don't like, I, ain't, I don't bother. That's enough, man. Because he going to hurt himself, man. <laughs> You got him like this in there, man. <laughs> he posted somebody like he on that keyboard, man. 
He wore kings and some women be just like that too. You see posts, it'd be a hundred posts. They be going there all day. Man, do y'all got a job? I don't pay this all they do. They sitting on Facebook. Probably most of them in their phone too. They wait, boy. Yeah. But they on there, boy. On their phone, like that. I'm like, man, how do you do it? Waiting on somebody to say something they don't want to hear. But they can put all that other garbage on there all day. They not, they not, they not looking for that. They're looking for Israel. So they they hatred of their own, man. Read that again. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Read on. They gather together. O nation not desire. You got some of them, man, they don't keep no high holy days. You got some of them, they don't do anything that the Most High say do. They're not learning, they're not prepping themselves for the kingdom. They was the ones out in the wilderness when Moses was dealing with. They had to put them to death. The same spirits right back here. Yeah, they're going to be awake. Give me Psalms 133 and 1. They're going to be awake, man. Some of them going to be awake just to try to cast the word away, man. You got to understand Esau got, 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 got his spirit on all of them, man. We got one common enemy, but we, we treat each other like garbage, man. When we should love each other. Read that up. The book of Psalms, chapter 133, and verse 1. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. That's brothers and sisters, man. How good is it for brothers and sisters to dwell together, man, in unity, man? We don't care about these other schools, man. We love our brothers. Well, we understand that there's a few differences in doctrines, but that's okay. We got the same enemy. Let's focus on him and not on each other. That's right. That's right. See, we still in unity, man. I see some of these fools from different schools. They see me out. We we chop it up. It's some of them I don't sit down and, and ate with. I got pictures in my phone. See, but you got some of these schools, man. They got that banana in their mouth, man. They mad because your school might be getting some numbers. That's jealousy. That's a jealousy spirit. They mad because someone's speaking your name. Why? You should be glad that the bulls out here putting in work. We should have no strife amongst the schools. It should be eliminated. But see, they ain't going to teach on that. You know, it is like the precious ornament upon the head. It is like the precious ornament on the head, man. Read. That ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard. You know, that went down to the skirts of his garment. That's how precious it is, man, when you see unity amongst the nation, man. <clears throat> when you see division, that's, that's hatred. Most high in the sun hates that kind of spirit, man. We warring together. We out there as a nation teaching this truth. Read on. As the dew of Haman. And oh, as, Haman, Mount Haman. Read. And as the dew that descended upon the mountain. That mountain is 9,232 feet, man. This is above some of our heads, man. We have to be in order as a nation. We have to be in an example, man. So when people are waking up, they don't see camp banging, man. It's like Crips and Bloods now, man. That's what you see in division. We have to stop it here first. And we'll put the smoke out with these, these individual lights, man. <laughs> we don't. Upon the mountains of Zion. Read. For there the Lord commanded the blessing. He commanded the what? The blessing. How are we going to go to the wilderness, man, and get all this? How? Read. Even life forevermore. Even life forevermore. Give me Hebrews 10 and 25, man. See, some of them ain't reading the scriptures, man. They, they too busy trying to be out scholar. I don't know what they do, man. He say feed the sheep, man. Deal with the things that 
need to be dealt with. Read that out to the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 25. Now forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Some of them do this, man. Because they, they want to keep the vision up, man. You got Israelites that come into school. They try to find a school that fits their spirit. If they wicked, they try to find a wicked school. If they spiritually, they try to find a school that's, that's spiritual for them. If they uh, Israel thug, they try to find that school. If they're Israel nigger, they try to find that school. Is there Israel effeminate? They trying to find that school. So they're looking for somewhere where they can, their spirit can continue as it is instead of coming to a school and getting the medicine. Read on. As the manner of self is. So you got them right now sitting on Facebook, man. Got their Kermit spirit. That's all they do. They're not gathering with their people, man. They saying they're going to wait till your Howard shot get here for him to put them to death. Read on. But exhorting one another. See, how can you exhort one another when you're sitting up causing division? How can you exhort anybody when all come out your mouth is negative? Everything is negative. I'm trying to show you. This is a positive movement. Showing the love for your brothers. Read on. And so much the more. And so much the more. How can you do that when all you do is be on Facebook or YouTube? Going against the brothers that's out there doing the work. You got your Monday morning quarterbacks. See a video, they got something to say. Oh, I got to pull this. We'll get out there and pull it in <laughs> and see how the spirit goes. Some of them ain't even never came to the curb. Some of them hate what we do. Some of them don't even have camps because they 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 got a Christianity school. You got a couple of them schools out there. They weak as baby poop, man. They soft as wet tissue, man. That's right. But they always trying to be up in somebody's face. Trying to push their doctrine. Do your work, man. Is that it on that? Well, as you see the day approach, as you see the day approaching, man. Jump down, give me 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. Because this is another problem with Israel. They like to still deal with Obama, Obama, you know, Obama. They still like dealing with the wicked, man. You got that wicked spirit up in your house, on your car. Mama called me, Mama, what you want? You ain't trying to keep these commandments. I'm telling you, I'm going to be over there with that sword soon. It ain't personal, Mama, but you're wicked as hell. See, some of them don't even rebuke Mama. They'll wait the day after Mother's Day to go by there and get Mama something. They ain't going to do nothing for the rest of the year. Read up the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Because sometimes we don't understand how powerful this is, man. How did these people put these spirits on you? How do you continue to fall back? You have to be around people that are keeping these commandments. How can you do that when you still at home on the keyboard? How? Like this brother, Shalom, first thing he attacked is the chart. He don't even know his Bible. He don't even know where Asher's at. He don't know nothing about the scriptures. But he want to run up like Okie Doke. Oh, you run up on me like that, man. He almost got the double D drop dead, man. Let me get on in out of this store, man. I'm not playing with these clowns out here, man. Read on. The red fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness. Well, see, because that's why some of them can't even come to schools, man. Because they're unrighteous. You see them, they always, you see them going out the door. Because they got they dealing with something on their own, man. They ain't coming and trying to get the medicine because they feel like they right in their mind. And they don't understand they're not. That's the problem with our nation. We always thinking too much. When the Bible, like I say, life is basic. But see, because Esau kingdom is hard. You have to be able to go online to fill out a resume, get your resume, send it to people. You got to be able to do all kind of things that you don't have to do. 
But getting along with your sisters and brothers is some of the easiest thing in the world to do. But I'm going to tell you, you ain't going to make it in the kingdom with that kind of spirit. Because Christ asked me to come snatch your neck out your socket. That's what happens. I'm not going to shed a tear because he was warned. We don't. And what communion had light with dark? What communion? Why are you hanging out with darkness, man? Why are you hanging out with people? See, let me tell you something. You ain't gathering with your people where you at. What you doing? You at the barbershop talking about LeBron. See, I know what you do. I know your spirit. Because you're not saying, see, the thing is, these Israel niggas out here on Facebook, they're not saying nothing about the church. They're not saying nothing about the things that are happening to our nation. All they can do is look at their brother, man. They're going to focus on us. We don't. And what concord had Christ with Baal? What agreement? What, 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 what agreement does Christ have with Baal, man? None. Read. Or what part had he that believeth with an infidel? An unbeliever, man. That infidel is an unbeliever. Because you got a lot of unbelievers out there in this truth, man. They just perpetrate. They got friends on. Too long. Woo. We get this nigga on the planet, man. Ain't, ain't keeping nothing in this Bible because, one, I'm going to tell you something. Read your Bible, man. This is how I did it. Once I got through reading it, I started over it again. Once I got through reading it again, I kept reading it. I continued to read it. I'm going to read it till it took you. How wish I get here? So I can basically tell you where everything is. So the more you read it, the smaller it gets. You got some of them out here ain't never even read their Bible. But they gonna come up running up to you. See, you fake Israelites out there, man, you know what corner we on. You don't want to be on film because they're going to let people know you don't know what you're talking about. See, because we're going to expose you, man. We're going to expose you fake Israelites out there. That's right. Come out there to that corner. It's like a lion's den, man. That's right. Come get roared on, man. And we challenge these pastors too. Or anybody else, man. We out here trying to get out of captivity. We ain't got time for the garbage. We don't. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? We don't. For ye are the temples of the living God. We and that and God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. How is he dwelling with somebody talking about still smoking a blunt, man? We made the herbs. We can grow. He's, he's put it here for us. No, man. You can't defile your temple, man. But you got some of these sisters. They, they run to these guys. You know, head shaving clean, man. They somewhere sitting up in a, in, a, in a closet somewhere, man, trying to teach the truth. They somewhere shooting a glide, riding in their car. They ain't, ain't got damn scripture. But got the head covered, man. See, they look for everything else, but they don't examine themselves. It start with self, man. Self. You never hear me dissing my brothers, man. You never hear me bad mouthing brothers, man. I just say they need medicine. They sick. All oh, is really sick, man. We're coming out of docile state of mind, man. So we should be helping brothers and sisters, not 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 causing divisions. We don't. And I will be there, God. See, if you're not doing as the power would say, he's not even dealing with you. Don't even hear your prayer. I don't care how long you've been in this truth. I got 25 years. What and what you've been wicked 25 years. See, some of them don't know this. See, we we quick to go and say what he said, but we don't even know this guy. He on a video. We ain't even been to his house. We ain't even seen him out there putting in work on the street. We don't know nothing about his daily routine. But we'll come tell you what he say. You got a lot of these wicked Israelites. I used to be an Israelite. Why I'm not a Hebrew anymore? Because you're an Israel nigga. That's why you're not one. Because you're a wicked nigga. That's why you're not one. It's all for them sisters too. Why I'm not an Israelite anymore? Because you're wicked. You don't want to examine yourself. You're too busy trying to look around at everyone else. Can you pay my bills? No. Can you pay his bills? No. But you want to examine everything except your bills. 
it'll be is probably behind. Read on. And they shall be my people. Read. Wherefore, come out from among them. He said, he said, come from amongst them, man. So you Israelites out there, man, don't want to keep none of the laws. They say he going to put it in your heart. He going to put it in your heart, man. We got So not, not even understanding the scriptures, man. They'll try to break down Hebrews 18, man, and, 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 and butcher it. Have no understanding, man. We ain't got to wear fringes no more. We ain't got to do this no more. We ain't got to keep this happening. We ain't got to do anything but just be like, like the people, our brothers and sisters out there sick. <sighs> Read. And be ye separate. Read on. Say the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing. Some of our nation is unclean, man. And some of us, we gravitate to them. Unclean, man. And I'm telling you this because I'm telling you the truth. Must I put this in my spirit to bring this class to you? You know, me and Gorilla Hebrew, we, we chop it up, man, when we get a chance, man. We, I'm going to tell you something about that brother from Sakari, man. Man, that brother, man, we, we, we love being around each other. That's how we all school supposed to be, man. That brother can call me anytime, any night. I'm going to get him go see about my brother, man. Any of them. Right. You got some of them don't even answer your call. But we don't. And I will receive you. That's how you get received, man. That's how the most high bless you. We got Israelites out here still going out to eat, man. How we taking down our enemy and we study feeding the beast? You got a fire over here burning. And we trying to put the fire out. And we started throwing wood on it. Stupidity, man. It's because some of them looking at, wait a minute, the truth, I see him in here. Come on, man. Did the white man trick you? You think our own people won't trick you? Read. And will be a father unto you. Read. And ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. See, when you're doing the thing that the Bible say do, you're going to be sons and daughters. Some of y'all ain't going to make it, man. Because you don't want to examine yourself. Some of you won't admit that there's issues that you battle with yourself. I don't care if a brother... It's not in the truth. I had a brother contact me from uh, Florida that wanted to chop it up with me. You know, they see my Facebook back up, so they, they, they contact me and want to dialogue with me. You know, I try and do as much as I can because I don't put myself on no pedestal. I'm just like the last man to walk in the door. I'm on that level as far as thinking. I want to be like my brothers, man. I don't want a Lord over God flock. That's not my job. My job is to teach you, man, how to be an Israelite. Prepare you for the kingdom. Show you how to love. Show you that you're family. Show you the things that are not being shown in Israel. Back to Zephaniah 2 and 3. 2 and 2. Our job is to be a light to the nations. If you set over a school, you should be able to put out the the, 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 the nonsense. Read out the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 2. Start at verse 1. Verse 1. Gather yourselves together. It say gather ourselves together, man, because we're more in numbers. If we got an issue somewhere and these, these schools had some kind of relationship, all of them that's up there, except the other two, the more weak schools, man, I, I wouldn't even call them. Because they be they trying to defend the so-called white man. So if any of these schools call us, we're going to go out and we're going to stand with our brothers. That's what we're supposed to do, man. We worried about who's going to stay in our school and who's going to leave. That's not my, I'm not worried about that, man. I'm worried about getting to the kingdom. That's right. I'm worried about making it, man. I'm worried about seeing Esau bow down in these other nations that are oppressing our people. That's right. I'm not worried about who's going to stay and who's going to go. Read on. Yay, gather together. O nation, not desire. Read on. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the child. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Because some of these people, man, they don't think that that's going to happen. Read. 
before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. We need seek ye the Lord. What? Seek ye the Lord. Hold up. No, see, some of them they seek the elder, man. It's seek the Lord, man. Pray to your God, man. Seek and when you seek him, you'll find him. But if you're a yes man or you're a coward in this truth, you got some of them making videos about us going door to door. We're not the Jehovah wickedness, man. We're not pushing the garbage that they push. Why make a video of us talking about we in sin and you ain't pulling no precepts to pull uh, uh, manifest what you're saying? You're just looking to get some hits on your video, man. That's the problem with Israel, man. Where is you out there on the streets? I ain't seen no video of you out there teaching. Don't get me out there to dealing with the, with the wickedness, man. Read on. All ye meek of the earth. All ye what? All ye meek of the earth. Some people don't understand what meek is, man. Read. Which have wrought his judgment. Which have worked his judgment. Read. Seek righteousness. Do what? Seek righteousness. He say seek righteousness, man. How can you seek righteousness, man, when you're sitting up there now with that banana in your mouth? Looking at your brother, man, because getting rebuked for the wickedness that's going on. Oh, no. My elder too high to get rebuked. No, your elder can't get rebuked, man. Uh, you don't understand the scriptures in Timothy. See, that's the problem with our people, man. Christ will rebuke him. Or put him in his place, man. You find out that a lot of these Israelites, man, they, they, they're sitting over the congregation. You got some of them out here that whoremonger, whore, whoremonger and the sisters out, man. You got some of them doing all kind of abomination out here, man. And we supposed to give them a pass. Read on. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be here in the day of the Lord's anger. You better be here, man. Because when he come through, he's not coming here to say, well, you know, you did pat you on the back for being wicked. We should be coming together more and more as a nation, so to be a light to our nation. So our people will see. Go back to Jeremiah 7 and 24. So our nation will see there is unity. This ain't the bloods and the crypt, man. That's where they act, act out there. Read up the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7 and verse 24. Because they thinking I'm speaking. See, that's the problem. I'm going to let you know. Is the power of speaking. Because I'm not saying my words. See, he said, seek meekness and righteousness. But read. But they hearken not. They don't like to listen, man. Because if I have the he said, man, we, we got to do that. Well, yeah, there's the devil, man, if he ain't trying to make you get right, man. And make you stop with the nonsense. Because his spirit is not right. Read. Nor incline their ears. They don't want to incline their ears. Oh no. He ain't been in the truth 30 years. Come on, man. Give me some rock 1924. See, we got a precept for everything, man. We want to do the Lord's work, not the devil's work. Read that right quick. Read the book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 24. He that had small understanding read, and feared God read, is better than one that has much wisdom and transgresseth the law of the most high. Done deal, ain't it, man? Right. Done deal. It's done deal, man. See, I fear the Lord. A lot of people don't understand that. I make sure I'm good on the seventh day. I make sure the school is in order. When I come in here and don't see it in order, man, it puts an anger on me because this is his house. And, and he give us something, we're supposed to appreciate it, not treat it like, like we treat our own place. We want to treat it, we want to we bring things, everything down to where we got life is. No, bring it up, man. You're dealing with a brood as man, the spiritual level, and he see it, his vision is there, bring yours up there, man. Where we at? Back at Jeremiah's 7 and 24, read it again. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 7 and verse 24. But they hearken not. They don't like to listen, man, because he ain't been in the truth 30 years. Read. They incline their ears. They don't want to incline their ears, man. Read. But walk in the counsels and in the imagination of their evil hearts. See, they, they still walking in that same counsel. 
uh, in the imagination of their evil mind. Read. And went backwards. See, some of them, you know, some people are getting led backwards, especially on Facebook, man. Some of y'all should delete some of these wicked niggas off y'all and sisters, too. I seen a sister on there with a half naked with the apocrypha. The abomination is getting worse, man. We don't. And not forward. They don't want to move forward. See? We. Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt, unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets. See, they thinking somebody a prophet sitting on Facebook, man. He's sitting on Facebook with a blunt in his mouth typing. He don't like the chart. But where your chart at? Where your video break down, Ock? Show me your, your chart. You got a camp now that don't even have a chart out there. See, they let you, they going backwards. How you out there teaching your people? These, some of these brothers are going backwards, man. And some of our people are following them right down to the pit. Read. Daily, rising up early and sending them. Read on. Yet they hearken not unto me. See, they thinking it's us. See, he's sending us. But they don't want to hearken unto the Most High and his son. They don't want to hear him. They want to hear the elder. The elder, the elder, the elder. Double honors to a wicked man. Because if, 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 if strife is coming from your school, you should kill it. We're not here to call strife, man. We're not here. We don't care how many videos you make about us. We won't, we won't respond. That way the little teeny fire go away. We're not going to throw gas on a teeny fire. That's what they want. Read. Nor incline their ear. They don't want to incline their ear, man. Read. But harden their necks. See, they harden their necks. Read. They did worse than their fathers. See, they're going to do worse than their fathers, man. That's why I try to warn you, man. Be careful who you take counsel from. You might take it from the wrong individual. Might not be spiritual right. Give me that second video, man, the wicked. Look at this, man. I want you to see this. Turn it up. Because of the type of work I do. The wicked of them all, unfortunately, is Yah's people. I notice black people who are conscious or in the truth of their identity are full of pride. It will give you a detailed explanation on how wicked the Gentiles are and look past their own wickedness. The reason the Gentiles are wicked toward us, the Most High is using the nations to punish his people. Yah let them oppress us. Yah allow them to plunder everything we own because of our wickedness. Stop it right there. See, this is the madness that a, a wicked sister out there running her mouth, man. See, I could have just jumped through the video and choked the lights out, man. <laughs> See, because some of them, they're too close to the enemy, man. Give me Ezekiel 35 and 2, man. Let's deal with that. See, they always want to say something, man. Read that right quick, God. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 2. Son of man. Set thy face against Mount Seir. He said, set our face against that nation, man. He didn't say, come out here. And, she, and see, the problem is, she act like they still ain't killing us out of the streets, man. She acting like the Israelites ain't out here putting the work in trying to wake the nation up. See, this is the garbage that people post out there, man, because they have a hatred for their own nation. We on And prophesy against it. So we down there, we tell the white man he the devil. That's what we mean, man. Because the Most High say he the devil. So what's wrong with us telling him he the devil? No, don't talk to them like that, man. Read. And say unto it, thus saith the Lord God. And say unto this nation, read. Behold, O Mount Seir, read. I am against thee. I'm what? I am against thee. He said he's against them. What's the problem, sister? See, some of them, they want to defend Esau, Massa, man. All of them ain't bad, man. You got a couple camps out here, man. They got even whites all up in their school. See? And that's the problem with them. We know. And God will stretch out my hand against me. He said he going to stretch his hand out against them, man. That's why he got us out there in the corners, man. Read. And God will make me most desolate. Make them a waste, man. Because they, they got they have stolen all riches. See? She ain't worried about he got she he got her money in his pocket. She worried about us. We 
nut out there could be crimes. Is she speaking for the whole nation or is she speaking for the one to two thirds? See? And then I'm going to show you, she got an NIV Bible. Read. I will lay thy cities waste. He said he's going to lay thy cities waste. Whatever country they don't start, he's going to destroy them. Read. And thou shalt be desolate. Read on. And thou shalt not, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Read. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Hold up. They have had what? A perpetual hatred. I don't even know what perpetual means, man. That means a never-ending hatred, man. And we supposed to love our enemy. And drop dead with that one, man. We and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. We know by the force of the sword. We in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. See, see, they still do it, man. They still oppressing us. They still teaching us how to be a nigger. There's no positive movies about the us. There is nothing positive about us but a bunch of transgenders are who sell. A lot of sisters follow that, man. That's why you see these little sisters dressed like little holics. What woman have her boobs all out? When I tell them they're transgenders, they don't want to hear that. They can't believe Beyonce is a big man, man. No, we can't be burned false witness. See, I'm burned what the spirit is telling me. They can't believe Jay-Z is a woman because they can't see. But they still got blinders on, man. That these people, what have they done for us? What have they done for their nation? What have the rap gang done for the hood? But destroy it. What have the movies and the negative things that they that they pushing on us done for our nation? They're help destroying us. They're working with the enemies. What have basketball, football, any of this done for our neighborhoods? Nothing. So how can I speak positive about? Niggas. I'm here for the Israelites, the elect only. That's right. It say when our calamity had ended, but Esau still pushing it. Esau, Esau still persecuting us. Why she ain't crying about why there's no equality here? Why Grambling State people purview game was last weekend? Where was the Edomites at, at that at that at that game? Why wasn't the stadium full of Japanese, Chinese, Africans, everybody there? So they were, why is these same nations of naming in our neighborhood oppressing us? Why, where the black people are going to be at on the OU and Texas game this weekend? So she ain't worried about that. They're going to be out there on the football field banging themselves up, hurting themselves, man. Trying to make it to their NFL, man. Their national fag league, man. <laughs> See, I seen him on there with Tom Brady and Gazelle, whatever that that man name. So I typed it in there. I'm just gonna play. I'm, I'm playing with him now. I said I know they're gonna take this down, but Tom Brady is a is a is gay and Gazelle is a big man because other people was posting the same thing. See, everybody is starting to see now, man. They've been running this side up on us for centuries, man. A lot of our older generation don't they don't believe in that. Patty LaBelle is a, is a woman. See, a lot of them don't been sight by the system, and his sister don't have no problem with what Esau did, but she got a problem with what we do. She looking in the mirror, man, and hate herself. That's the problem. Give me over die you one and nine. That's the problem, man. When we still looking in the mirror, man, when we work by our brother, even in his truth, and we don't salute our brother, man. I let you know it's some nigga in them, man. We are the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 9. And thy mighty men, O Tamar, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mouth of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Read. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob shall shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. See, they don't want to read that scripture, man. See, like I say, some of them, they, they 95% of the Bible, 85, some of them just 10%. See, for the violence, man, what's going on in our neighborhoods now? Our, our nation is waking up and can't even feed the children today, man. She ain't saying nothing about that. 
See, they, they focusing on us when they should be focusing on the enemy, man. That video she got would never be taken down because it's a diss to her own nation. That's the problem with our people, man. Back to Ezekiel 35 and 10. We, we want to focus on everybody else but our, but our nation. We want to focus on our nation only. But everybody else get a pass. Nobody say nothing about the Japanese, Chinese in our neighborhood selling us her. We speak out against that, man. We ain't got time to be making videos about our brothers and sisters, man. And I see these things happening, man. I see people. And then you got some camps. They see a brother leave another camp. They run into it, man, to get some dirt so they can make a video. Then they get about 10 views. Then they, they wonder why the most high ain't dealing with them. Read out the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, and verse 10. Because God has said, These two nations and these two countries shall be mine. See, read. And we will possess them. She ain't saying nothing about the death. She ain't saying nothing about the, the rape, robbing, stealing, and killing that they have done, man. And what they have taught us with their television. See, ain't nothing to be said about that. We on. Whereas the Lord was there. They act like the Lord was with them, man. Read. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. See, they don't understand this envy, man, because we the chosen. Why do you think they persecuting us, poisoning our food, having our children in there, man, in these, these, these schools, these, these deplorable schools, man? They ain't making no videos about that, man. Not a, a lot of times, man, we got brothers out there that's doing the work, but we got more work to do. We need to make this known. It will be a, 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 something that shoot through the roof when they see not just one school marching down the street, but all of them together. See, that's what, that'll let them know we're coming together, man. That's right, that's right. That'll let them know we are forced to be reckoned with now. See, as long as they got division amongst the leaders that don't want to speak out against that, they understand we got a lot of work to do. Read. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. See, he going to judge them, man. Read. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel. They, you see, and they, the same thing with this sister doing. Speaking against her own nation, man. It's blasphemy, man. How you rebuking a brother on a video? Can you pick up the phone and call me up? See, we don't need everybody in our business, man. That's how you're supposed to get down. Now, I got to make a video about you, man, so I can... Feel good inside, man. i let you know you got low self-esteem. Right? Read on, man. <laughs> they are laid blessed. They are what? They are laid blessed. Read on. They are giving us to consume. See, they're thinking they have been giving us to consume, man. See, nobody talks about that. When you hear people, you got some of these Uncle Toms, and that can't, uh, Sambos, Charles Barkley, he got to eat a white wife. And a lot of these, these, these guys that were speaking for us, man, I don't have their names written down, but a lot of them was effeminate and homosexuals, man. Al Sharpton is a homosexual, Jesse Jackson. I'm going to tell you the truth, man. He's all ain't going to let you play his game unless you play his game. That's right. See, a lot of y'all don't want to hear that, man. I'm here to tell you how T.I. is. <laughs> and that's the problem. They don't want to hear it like that. They want to hear They want to think that these is somebody, even LeBron James too, man. You see him on there throwing up his little sides and stuff, man. And who all throwing them up? Nothing but homosexuals. So when you see some of our brothers out there throwing up their stuff, they'll let you know what they are about. Read on. That's what your mouth you have posted against me. Now, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. What, what, they, what they do with their mouth? With your mouth you have boasted against me. See, they have boasted against the most high. Read. And have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. He said he have heard them, man. Let's go back to this video, man, the wicked. She want to call us the wicked, man. Hold up. Pause it right there so they can see. Look at the look at the condition of our neighborhoods, man. 
She need her face slapped backwards for that, man. <laughs> for the, to, to show this and to show the condition of our people, man. And you don't expect for them to act like they do, man. Go ahead, Art. I know we like to place the blame on the Gentiles. Yes. However, it's our own fault we are in the condition that we find ourselves That's in. That's why most I don't want women speaking for him, man. Pause it right there. See, look at that. What they say? NIV. Do your own fault. Somebody get that man and read it, man. See. Read that right quick, God. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. So they let you know this idiot don't know what she posted, man. Esau know that they're going to use the scripture, man. So what he do? Read it from the video. Through your own fault, you will lose the inheritance I gave you. I will enslave you to your enemies in a land you do not know. For you have kindled my anger and it will burn forever. See, when you got the wrong information and you pushing this, we understand. She act like we all was breaking the commandments. Some of us wasn't. A lot of Israel was keeping the commandments. Go play on the video. I gave you. I will enslave you to your enemies in a land you do not know. For you have kindled my anger. Pause it. Burn. We're saying that it's probably raping our sisters, raping the boys, throwing us off ships, hanging us, leaving our bodies out all over overnight. Where is it that say that they should they should do that and get away with it? See, she ain't worried about that, but play on. And forever. The scripture said it was our own fault we lost our heritage, not the Gentiles' fault. We want to take our anger out on the Gentiles because Yah allow the Gentiles to oppress us. If you hate this captivity and want to escape, honor Yah's word and turn from your wickedness. It's that simple. We are the ones running around being religious. We cannot dismiss our wickedness. Israel is full of sin and the remnant who know the truth is still wicked. Our ancestors disobeyed Yah from the beginning. We are continuing the disobedience. She put some of the camps in that, man. of us did not turn from our wickedness, even after discovering the truth. Being a blood descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob would not exclude you from the judgment seat of Yah. The population to the lake of fire are increasing every day. You have to give an account for everything that you have done. Do not think when you stand before them. She focused dead on her own nation, man. She ain't got nothing to say about her enemy. And you probably go check her videos out. She ain't got no video about Esau. But she want to check her own nation. When she should be shutting her mouth, man. Probably don't even know how many eggs in the kitchen. But play the video. The Most High, telling him you are a Hebrew Israelite, is enough to get into the kingdom. Yah's plan for the wicked is destruction. Yah is calling his people for the last time. See, so hold up, pause idols. You see how she bring in the Christian church now? Sure. See, I'm going to see if she say something about this guy not keeping no commandments, the church, the big cross in the church, everybody in there in killer suits. See, she ain't saying nothing about that. See, they focus in on us because we are here doing the work. We pray on. Turn from your sins. The Most High wants to deliver his people from the last captivity. Most Israelites are too busy arguing about how many women they can marry, what tribe you're from, who can teach the word, and the appearance requirement of an Israelite. All of this is a distraction from the greater purpose, which is humbling ourselves, pray for our deliverance, and repenting of our sins. The more Satan can get you to argue with each other about foolishness, the longer this captivity will be. Pause it. The most See, she didn't say who Satan was. And she got some points. That's how Israel is right there. See, everything that a person say ain't bad. But it's just how she presented. She ain't bringing no precepts or nothing. She's on here running her mouth, man. I'm going to go back and check and see how many videos she made about the enemy. But play on. I said in Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people or call by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. 
This scripture sums up what the last generation need to do. However, we are too busy fighting each other on self-made doctrines. Hold up, Polly. All... Self-made doctrines. How she get away? Off a of self-made doctrine, didn't she? How she know she an Israelite? See, this is the nonsense that they pump, man. Don't have no understanding. She shouldn't even be teaching. Probably not even married. Play on. Or what your father are. Can I marry the strange woman? And your biggest distraction, the fate of Esau. A lot of you are into fortune telling, condemning people you have no business condemning. Imagine if all of us apply Second Chronicles 7 and 14 to our lives. The confusion that plague our communities will cease. Oh, we are a group of proud people and we need to humble ourselves. Some of you will not receive valid criticism. you rather walk away than to humble yourselves. We cannot blame the Gentiles for our conditions. The God of our fathers is the one controlling the Gentiles and allowing them to persecute us. Go boldly into the throne room of Yah in prayer. Ask him why is he allowing this to happen to you. I'm sure you know why collectively people are oppressing. See, this is what we have with these sisters that he feminized out the nation, man. She, she said we focus in on our enemy. Who's oppressing us? Ourself? Who's got who's who 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 one that's the job discriminating on us? You can bring it out of see. Now, just what the sisters actually dealing with right here, man, and, and like this was saying, this is a sad case we deal with really right out of. Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm syndrome is a psychological condition that causes hostages to develop sympathetic sentiments toward their toward their captors often sharing their opinions and acquiring romantic feelings for them as a as a survival strategy during captivity these feelings result from a bond formed between captor and captives during intimate time spent together and generally considered irrational in light of the danger or risk endured by the victims because like Bush was saying, this sister has brought no elements of uh, what our, our person has done to us. The Bible tells us to speak against this wicked nation. And that's what we're doing, man, through the spirit of Yahweh, child, man, and the Heavenly Father. But she only sees the wrongness of Israel, man. And this is what she's doing, condemning our own people. This is Stockholm Syndrome right now, man. She hates our own people, man. And like Bush was saying, she brings up a point, but she's attacking the wrong element. She needs to understand what's going on. Con, con. Con, con. And see, that's the problem, man. Again, she's talking about press. Give me please extra 7 and 7. So we know two-thirds of our people ain't going to repent, man. And two-thirds of them going to be, and some of them are going to be awakened. Read uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. So really, our people there's a gift. See, some of our people will read on. And they gift destroyed the heart. See, if that gift is they destroy their mind, they got a job. I heard one dude last week talk, I don't stand in the hood. See, he's a proud nigga, man. See, he don't see they write niggas on people's garage. See, she don't see none of that. She see none of the elements of Esau. It says, surely oppressions make it a wise man mad. So we supposed to go out there let Esau come up there and lie to us, get loud with us, tell us we niggas. She don't go read the comments on some of these videos, do she? She don't do no research on nobody but her own nation to down her own nation. That's why the most high don't want a woman speaking for him, man. They want to deal with emotions. But read on. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Read. And the patient in spirits it's better than the proud in spirit. See, when you got patient in spirit, man, you know how to deal with your own nation. Because when you don't, you you pride in spirit. You got pride on you, man. A lot of people can't humble themselves. You got a lot of guys out here solo, ain't doing, ain't busting a great man. Had a camp for a whole year or two, got still got the same two members that they started with. Cause they pride in spirit, they got pride on them, man. They don't, they can't humble down, man, cause they in sin. When our people's in sin, it's pride. Give me Luke 14, 21. 
<clears throat> the job of an Israelite. Read the book of St. Luke, chapter 14, verse 21. So that so came, and she was read these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, you know, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. See, he said, go out there, man, and bring them in. That halt is the terminal ill ones, man. The poor and the maimed, the ones that's wounded, and the blind, the ones that's been destroyed with these false doctrines. He said, go out into where? The streets and the lanes. He didn't tell us to sit back on the keyboard, man. You got Israelites, that's all they do now. They teach on the seventh day, they, they did their work, man, eat their food, and go lay down and go to sleep, man. When there's work to be done. That's why I salute the schools that's out there, man. That's why we bring up our brothers when we see them out there. You got some of them that still don't speak, man. That's because they got pride on them and most of them in sin. They even got the women's like that. They can see you out there. They won't even speak to you. What kind of nigga is this? What, what, I mean, what's going on? We have a job that we have been commanded to do. Isaiah 58 and 1. Because some of them think we're supposed to go out there like the choir, the, 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 the temptations of somebody. You know, some of them think we're supposed to go out there like uh, Eddie Long or Creflo Dollar or something. See, let me show you what he said to read the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Cry aloud. Let he say, cry aloud. Read, spare not. Let spare not. Let me show you something, man. Give me second Maccabees 2 and 1. Let me show you about Mattathias, man. Matthias. Let's show you. Second Maccabees, man. Is that uh first Maccabees 2 and 1, man? Of First Maccabees, chapter two. Sorry, yes, first read. In those days arose Mattathias, the son of John, the son of Simeon, a priest of the sons of Jeru from Jerusalem, and dwelt in Mary. That was in central Israel. Now jump down to verse six. Verse six. And when he saw the blasphemies that were committed in Judah and Jerusalem. Well, we see the same things, man. It's nothing new under the sun, man. Read. He said, where is me? He said, what? Where is me? That, that, the destruction to him because he's he seeing these things happen. Read. Where, wherefore, was I born to see this misery of my people? See, he, where, where was I born? Where was we born to see the same misery that's going on today? Read. And of the holy city and to dwell there. When it was delivered into the hand of the enemy, we know. and the sanctuary into the hand of strangers. See, they don't understand all these things, man. They, they're too busy focusing on us. Jump down to verse 44. Verse 44. So they joined their forces. They went. So they joined their forces. What we need to be doing in Israel? Joined their forces. We know. And smote sinful men. And they what? Smote sinful men. We in their anger. We know. And wicked men in their wrath. But the rest fled to the heathen for succor. They fled for to them for security, man. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. A lot of them they're gonna run to these other nations, man. So when these real prophets step up, man, there's no game plan. We need to be joining forces. Even though we got different schools, we still speak and talk with each other, man. Give each other information. No, I don't want to tell him some. Let them get trapped. See, we should be all on the same accords, man. But no, Israel don't want to do that, man. Back to Isaiah 58 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. He said, cry aloud, man. Let me come out and speak like a man, man. Read. Spare not. Hold up, man. Maybe some people's who have they bashing people. What did he say? Spare not. Oh, no, they bashing people. No, you got a feminine spirit. Ah. Read. Lift up thy voice like a church. Speak like a grown man, brother. Read. And she, my people, their transgression. No, let them get we bashing them. And she, my people, their transgressors. You out there to tell them, hey, sister, you ain't seeing you out here naked. In the kingdom, we'll be putting you to sheep for that. See, right now, judgment is correction for our nation. 
Christ coming here to judge, and his judgment is, is, is sealed. See, people don't understand that, man. Read, in the house of Jacob, they're said, Give me Ezekiel 3 and 10. See, they think we're supposed to be out there like, the, like some choir boys, man. Some people, you know, just loving everybody, man, and keep blowing kisses and stuff. <laughs> Read out the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 10. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all of my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thine heart, in thy mind read, and hear with thy ear, get understanding read, and go, get thee to them of the captivity. See, we, they know some of them, they don't think they're still in bondage, man. They're thinking they're free because they can go in uh, Wendy's this day and go buy a, 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 a killer burger. They thinking they're free that they can go eat at some of these uh, chatters and stuff like that. They eating good food, man. You eating the bottom of the barrel food, man. See, they they so stupid, man, that they, 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 see, dumb is the new smart in the world right now. The dumber you are, the smarter you think you are. Because some of them, I'm educated, you're just an educated dummy. Read, unto the children of thy people. He didn't say go out there and deal with these other names. He said go out there and deal with our peoples. Read, and speak unto them. He said what? And speak unto them. How you doing there when you're sitting behind a keyboard, man? How? How's you doing there when you're just on YouTube and you got 10 views? How? Why are you not out there on that street, Op? And I'm going to tell you something. Some of these elders should be out there. I salute the ones that still out there on the street, man. Some of them don't got too big to be out there. They they right, right behind, below your Howard shots, you know. You just still serving, brother. Right. So you should still be out there on that street corner. Read on. And tell them. And do what? And tell them. Read. That says the Lord God. See, we have to do what our God said. We're under the authority of the power. Read. Whether they will hear. See, some of them, they don't want to hear it, man. Read. Or whether they will forbear. But they'll cast it behind them, man, because they don't want to hear the truth. They want to be debating you, having strife amongst you. Uh, back to Luke 14, 22. See, he said, go out there and tell them, man. He said, go out there and play games with them. Because they're a, a wicked nation. Very wicked, man. So we're supposed to go out there and just play with them. No. You're going to get rebuked, man. That's right. And if you can't handle it, go back to T.D. Jeff Church. Because he's a homosexual, too. A lot of people don't want to believe that either. Not that pastor, man. He's doing good for his community. He got a big church over there. And ain't, 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 ain't done nothing for nobody. You can't even have a funeral there. Unless you're a mason. Mm. See, a lot of y'all don't have no information. That's the problem. You void of knowledge. When our people were down there in Katrina, where was T.D. Snakes at? He was at the White House with his toes twinkling right there with George Bush. Why did he rent every bus in the city of Dallas and go get his peoples? See, he didn't care about them. See, why did none of these black pastors do that? Why we want to depend on the so-called white men? Why are them ones that's got money, LeBron's them to do anything? See, they love the people there, man. They ain't going to bust a grape. Because they do, Esau snatch their little pocket chain. Read up. Uh, the book of St. Luke, chapter 14, verse 22. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. See, he said it is done as thou hast commanded. That is... My sister over here telling me how to do things. She on the video time. We focusing on the wrong. Uh, some brother. We're going to do as the power tell us to do. As the spirit lead us. Read. And yet there is room. There is room, man. Read. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compare them. He said, what? And compare them. He said, go out there and compare them, man. Now nah, we're going to sit back on the keyboard. Give me that keyboard Kermit right quick again, man. <laughs> this is how they doing it right here, man. See? Compelling, man. They can look at them. See? They are, that's, that's what they doing. They compelling everybody, man. Nobody even listening to them, man. See? That's enough on that, man. See? Read that again. Verse 23. Verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. No, we sit back in, in, on YouTube, man, and then we teach a little class and we done for the weekend. 
Go out into the highways and hedges. Read. And compare them. Yeah, and that's crying out loud, man. Read. To come in. To what? To come in. We out there trying to compel them, man, to come come in, man. Read. That my house may be filled. That what? That my house may be filled. We on. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. So we out there warning them. They not going to, some of them, they two-thirds ain't going to taste of that supper, man. That's what we out there for. That's why I'm about pushing. I'm about attacking. See, I'm attacking the enemy. I'm not attacking my brothers. But things got to be said. That's right. See, I'm out there to attack the enemy, man. I ain't got time to be attacking my brother. That's right. We got enemies. How are we going to be a nation and we attacking each other? We turn on each other like a pack of wild dogs and devour our own peoples, man. But, you know, Romans 9 and 6, man. You know how Israel is. Let me show you the problem, man. Because sometimes y'all thinking somebody, eh, shalom. Uh, broom. Uh, see, read that right quick. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 6. Not as though the word of God had taken that effect. See, it doesn't take effect in those ones that don't believe. Read. But they are not all Israel, which is which are of Israel. See, they're not all Israel, man. Their job is to give me Matthew 24, 24. Let me show you something. Before I go to this next video. See. Let me show you what they see. A lot of people thinking this is uh Creflo Dollar. This is gonna be our own nation, man. That's right. Read that right quick. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. See, some of them thinking that they in the power seat, man. See? Read. And false prophet. And what? And false prophet. These are false teachers, man. Read. And shall shoot great sons and wonders. They got a big school, man. They might have plenty of school. They might be doing all that. They're going to show great signs and wonders, man. Read. And so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. See, that's what's going on, man. Esau is cunning, man. You think he ain't going to send people in here to do this work? You think he ain't going to let them understand how to teach this Bible? How to? You think he ain't going to work his work too? No, nah, we, we too busy thinking it won't happen, but he will. So understand, examine your brother by the works, by his actions. And examine yourself because if you're examining yourself and you're in the spirit, you'll see when a person is not in the spirit. When they're acting out, they're not in the spirit. When they're not when they're not doing thus is the Lord, they're not in the spirit. Give me that next video, man, because you got a lot of Israel. They make videos of why I'm not in the Israel like school is. Let's see what this brother broke it down good, man. See, I love my people. I play that video, man. Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? See, they're not going to believe. Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yeah, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar. See, read. Hold on, man. The rock Yahweh, the rock of Yahweh shall, double honor to the Lord, the Spirit of the Stone, peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. This is going to be my response Positive. to the statement. See, we understand, no matter what school you're in, a lot of people in some of these schools are not going to make it. All the brothers in the schools are not bad, man. It's just some. But play the video. The lot of fallouts make why I'm not a Hebrew Israelite anymore. Because long story short, I work with a guy at my job that used to be a part of IUIC. This guy, he used to be a part of IUIC. And now, this guy, he doesn't believe he's a Hebrew Israelite anymore. And not only that, he doesn't even believe in the Most High anymore. This guy, he's an atheist. See, Paul, so the Lord, see how that brother spoke? He let you know what school he's from. He didn't speak negative of, of the school. He's speaking about the people that are calling themselves pulling out these schools. But play on. Completely bug this dude out. Hold up, pause it. See, when you're not acting right, see, they like to blame the school. But see, sometimes the most high I take it from you. I seen it, man, myself. 
I seen a dude, man. I ain't going to call his name. Big old Benjamite. Big dreads, big beard. Seen him on a picture, man. Somebody sent a picture, man. He had shaved his hair off and his beard. I look like a giant milk dog. <laughs> I started biting. bite him. He looked at me, you know. <laughs> but that's what happens, man. It don't mean you, you think and see the people that's leaving and you follow them. So you don't understand the most high don't even be dealing with them. He be going to pull them out because they've been there causing, causing strife. And he's going to do the same thing for this nation of the ones that continue to do these things. But go ahead, play on. This guy's completely bugged out. But see, this that's why I read the scripture in the intro, Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? True. This is still the truth. Thank you. This is still the truth. And you know, guys make the statement saying that uh, I'm not a Hebrew Israelite anymore. Like you can change your nationality. Thank you. You can't change your nationality, stupid. <laughs> your nationality is not a religion. You can't change who you are. Thank you. You were born a Hebrew Israelite. The thing is, <coughs> us growing up in this captivity, us growing up in this slavery under Esau, we just didn't know that we were Israelites. We didn't know it, but that still doesn't change the fact that that's who we were and that's who we are. You can't change that. Thank you. You can't change it. You can't change being a Hebrew Israelite. That's why it tells you in the book of Jeremiah, uh, you know, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? I'm roughly paraphrasing. But that, that made the point that, you know, uh, an Ethiopian, an actual Hamite, because we're not Africans, all right? A person can't change their nationality. An Ethiopian can't change from being in a, an Ethiopian. He's a Kushite. He can't change his nationality. A leopard can't change uh, his spots. A leopard can't take the spots off of him. All right? So, you Israelites out there, you can't change who you are. As enough. You can't change it. <coughs> See, give me Mark 9 and 38, man. See, the problem is, when we speak... And we speaking as this brother speaking, man. Big ups to that brother. You know, he didn't badge nobody. He telling the truth. That's how we should be bringing this information now. Read that right quick. Mark 9 and 38. The book of St. Mark, chapter 9 and verse 38. And John answered him, saying, Master, we saw work casting out devils in thy name. We know. And he followed not up. See, some people got a problem if you ain't following every the same person, man. Some people got a problem if you ain't in the same school. They don't want to speak to you and, 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 and salute you. See, they have a problem with that. But read on. And we forbade him. And we forbid him. Read. Because he followed not us. Read on. But Jesus said, hold up. Don't they kill that one camp stuff, man? <laughs> don't they kill that garbage right there? Don't they kill if it ain't through us, it ain't you ain't in the truth? Yes, sir. Let's see what Christ say. Read. Forbid him not. What did Christ say? Forbid him not. We know. For there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that I can that that can rightly speak evil of me. See, read. For he that is not against us. See, these are dealing with camps. He that's not against us. Read. It's on our part. It's what? It's on our part. Why don't they have the police in the schools, man? Read. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, read on, because ye belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. He shall not what? He shall not lose his reward. Oh, because we're not in the same school. We're not going to that school. We're going to lose our reward, man. Read on. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones, who shall ever offend one of these little ones, that believe in me, read, it is better for him that a millstone will hang about his neck and he will cast into the sea. So it's killing that doctrine, man. It's killing the madness that's out here being pushed, man. So we shouldn't be worried about that garbage. Everybody, man, there's madness out here. Madness, madness, madness. Matthew 4 and 17. See, Oh no, that's yeah. People still gonna be complaining, man. Some of them do know about it. That's how it is, man. Read up the book of St. Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach 
and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what we do, man. That's what we out there to do, man. We ain't out there to be dealing with our peoples in that way, man, but we know they rebelled. You think when Noah and them was out there building the ark, he was out there working, they were passing by, bringing him food. No, they were coming by, cussing him out, calling him all kind of names. You think the prophets that all these prophets that have been before and the, and the disciples, man, all but one was not murdered, martyred. See, they don't see that, man, because no one teaching that. Jump down to five and one. The book of St. Matthew, chapter five and verse one. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them. He went and taught them. Read. Saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. He said, What? Blessed are the poor in spirit. Read on. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. See, because we, see, the thing is, we out there where the poor at, man. You making a video about us going out there to the people that ain't got the internet. You making a video about us that people out there ain't got transportation that's homebound, man. Shouldn't they not hear the word? See, the problem is the person that's doing this is in sin. Give me Isaiah 40, uh, 14, 32. We're coming back there. Y'all hold your precept. Isaiah 14, 32. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 32. What shall one then answer the messengers of the nation? Hold up, what? What shall one then answer the messengers of the nation? Now, we got one school we supposed to be say the messengers, man, of the nations. Read. That the Lord hath found it Zion. Read on. And the poor of his people. The poor in spirit, read. Shall trust in it. So they shall trust in it, man. That's why we, we are the messengers, man. And we are here getting this word out. No matter how people feel, man, we got to do the work, man. Back to Matthew 5 and 4. It's break down scripture time. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 4. Blessed are they that mourn. What? Blessed are they that mourn. Read. For they shall be comforted. They shall be what? They shall be comforted. Isaiah 25 and 8, man. See, we, we listen to man too much, man. When you start making man your, your God, you have an idol in front of you, man. See, they don't understand how the power can come in and raise someone up. They too busy thinking that doesn't happen because that they have to say that it, that's not true. Read up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 25 and verse 8. He will swallow up death and victory. He's gonna, when he come over, when he come and overcome these nations, read. And the Lord God will wipe away tears. From all our faces, read on. And the rebuke of his people, the two thirds, read. Shall he take away from off all the earth? He's gonna take them off, man, cause some of them they love drama, man. Read. For the Lord hath spoken it. See, they thinking I'm doing it, but the Lord speaking this, man. Read. And it shall be said in that day. In that day, read. Lo, this is our God. This is who? This is our God. We know. We have waited for it. We have what? We have waited for it. We know. And he will save us. No, our elders are some thought of some Facebook guy. And he will save us. We know. This is the Lord. We have waited for it. We, we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. See, that when we going to be saved that one third, man. We're going to be glad, man. See, we here to do the work, man. We ain't here for the drama. See, some of them still got that spirit on them, man. Back to Matthew 5 and 5. See, these are the people that the most high want. You don't want all that garbage. Read up. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 5. Blessed are the meek. He say, what? Blessed are the meek. He say, blessed the same one, the meek, man, the humble, man, the humble in spirit. Know how to love his brothers, sisters, know how to love each other. See, those are the ones he's saying blessed because if you're not if you're not in that in that category, you're not making it. Read. For they shall inherit the earth. They shall what? Inherit the earth. We're gonna inherit this earth. Psalms 149 and 4, man. See. We're always looking into it's like an old rapper, man. This is our our category. He been on the scene for a minute. Here come a young rapper. Wham him out, man. Then everybody is astonished, man. He ain't told my, my, my idol. 
Now they mad at him for, for being out, able to outwrap him. See, worry about the wrong thing. He should never be an idol. Read up. The book of Psalms, chapter 149 and verse 4. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He what? He taketh pleasure in his people. As long as they keeping the commandments, man, read. He will beautify the meek with salvation. He's going to beautify the meek with salvation, man. Psalm 37 and 11. See, the most high going to do this, not man. See, we, we, we put too much stock in man. Let the most high work his work, man. And quit worrying about the others. We are the book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 11. But the meek shall inherit the earth. We know what? Inherit the earth. See, we know the meek is the ones that ain't out here causing up problems, man. But we're going to get into that later. But we don't. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Of what? Of peace. What's the truth about? Of peace. See, that's what we should be trying to have, man, as a nation. That peace. Not the strength. Back to Matthews. Five and six. The book of St. Matthew, chapter five and verse six. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. See, hold up. See, these people's out here searching for a man, and we making videos about nothing. We need to be making positive videos all day, every day. So we got people's out here, man, hungry for this truth, thirsting after it. They're thirsting after righteousness, man. Read, for they shall be filled. So they, are they getting filled with the garbage that's being pushed, man? No. No. See, they're going to be filled, man. And that day is coming. Isaiah 49 and 10. That day is coming, man. See, the problem is we have to get out of the nigga spirit, man. Like I say, some of these elders need to check their spirit. Because nobody says nothing about it. No, no, say nothing about my elder, man. So when you put your elder on a pedestal, man, you're not in the spirit. That's right. I'm telling you, the madness needs to stop. Read uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 49 and verse 10. They shall not hunger nor thirst. Read. Neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that hath mercy on them shall leave them. Hold up. He said, what? He shall leave them. So we got to quit thinking our elder is leading us. It's the power that's leading us, man. If your elder is in righteousness, these things, you would, you would love your brother. You would love your sister. You would love the people that are awakened, man. You see them. I see somebody out with their fringes on. I always go up to them. I don't look at them because they may have on a different uh, uh, school name. We Israel. We not. We not IUIC. We not one body. We not. We not GMS. We not ISUBK. We Israelites, man. That's right. See, when you start putting that name before for you, your nationality, your heritage, then something wrong with you. Read. Even by the springs of water shall he guide them. He's going to guide us, man, if we put our faith in him. These are the things that we should be doing daily. Let's go back. Matthew 5 and 7. See, because the ones that ain't doing this, they're not blessed, man. They're here to deceive. Read. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 7. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the merciful, man. The ones that's out here, man, that needs the medicine, the right upbringing, man, the right spiritual leaders, man, bless out those merciful, man, that's out there doing this work, man. I salute my family that's out there doing the work in righteousness, man, and not worrying about the strife, the garbage, because those are those people are set up for distraction. Read. For they shall obtain mercy. They shall what? Obtain mercy. See, these ones that's doing the work, that's out here feeding the sheep, man, they're going to obtain that mercy, man. Give me Psalms 37 and 26. They're going to obtain mercy, man. See, the ones out here that just want to keep up the drama, want to put people on pedestals, man. <coughs> See, the thing is, we should love each other no matter what rank you in. Should not look down on a brother because you're a captain or you're a, you're a deacon or something, man, or an elder. That's right. Should love the least, man, because Christ loves us all. 
And we should have the same love for all, no matter how much money we got. We're here to help our nation. Read out the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 26. He is ever merciful. Read. And lendeth. Read on. And his seed is blessed. His what? His seed is blessed. And one third. Read. Depart from Eve. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What did he just say? Depart from Eve. Read that again. Depart from Eve. Maybe they didn't get it on the long line. Read it again. Depart from Eve. Read. And do good. And do what? And do good. And do what? And do good. Read on. And bread forever. Read. See, it says it's giving us plain instructions, man. Some of our nation, they can't get it, man. He said, depart from evil. Because people, they work, they work evil amongst the nation. That's why I try to tell you, positive, 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 positive. Kill the negative, man. We've been brought up in negative, 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 negative. Now we know the truth. That's positive. Stay with the positive. Do what the scriptures say. Daniel's 9 and 4. Nobody want to do this, man. I'll tell you something. This judgment's coming. But... Don't look at me. Read out the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 4. And I prayed unto the Lord my God. See, some of them don't do this, man, because they're too busy praying unto the devil. Read. And made my confession. And did what? And made my confession. Whatever you got going on, man, with your brother, sister, nation, school, camp. See, instead of making a video, you should be praying unto your God and make your confession. Because I'm pretty sure you had some issues up in that school. Read. And said, O oh Lord, read, the great and dreadful God, read on, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him. That who? That love him. That love him, man, read. And to them that keep his commandments. To him that what? Keep his commandments. Read on. We are saying. Somebody, they don't like to tell you that, man. That part, they'll blurt out. Read. And, and have committed iniquity. And then they don't want to say that they commit sins, man, because they, they are all out they pure. Read. And have done wicked. They don't want to say this, man. Read. And have rebelled. And what? And have rebelled. Making videos and doing all kind of garbage on Facebook, man. Read. Even by departing from thy precepts. See, from thy word, man. From these precepts. Read. And from thy judgment. And from what? And from thy judgment. And from thy judgment, man. And we were doing the things, man. And without these camps in school, man. Because when the most high woke me up, I was on YouTube, man. I seen a, a, a camp out there teaching. I didn't see a Negro up in uh, Walmart with no fringes on. He got a beard. Rick Ross got a beard, don't he? That's right. So I'm just trying to get an understanding. He didn't, he, he, I, I, he didn't have nothing that I can say that would have get, gotten, gotten my attention. No. And a lot of people that are awake, a lot of them have encountered the camps. Or someone in a school, someone outside of school, they had ain't time to keep a strife. Trying to keep the drama up. See, that's all they want to do. Back to Matthew 5 and 8. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart. Hold up, blessed are the pure in mind, man. That means you got your mind cleansed from the garbage. I'm looking for filth, man. You have to be understanding. Your mind has to be clear to do this work. You can't come in here with your drama. Take that to the Esau workplace and see how, how fast he gets you out the door. Read. For they shall see God. They shall what? They shall see God. They. They. Read verse 8 again. Blessed are the pure in heart. Some of them thinking they're going to get up there wicked, man. Get up there with a, with a, with a nickel sack in their back pocket. <laughs> Read. For they shall see God. They shall what? They shall see God. They're the one that's going to see God. Let's go back to Psalms 24 and 1, man. They're the one going to see the power, man. Let's see. Be meek, man. Love your brothers and sisters, man. Don't be standing across the street got an issue, man. Because the Most High is moving something else and you're not happy. Read out uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord. The what? The earth is the Lord. See, we got to understand this earth belongs to the Lord. Read. 
And the food is thereof. And the food is thereof. Read. The world. The word. The world. Read on. And they that dwell therein. Read on. For he had founded it upon the sea. Read. And it established it upon the flood. Read on. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Read. He that has clean hands. Hold up, hold up. He that what? He that has clean hands. See, somebody don't understand this stuff, man. He that has clean hands. Read. And a pure heart. And a pure mind. Read. Who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity? Unto lies, man. Some of these guys in this truth now, man, they puffed up, man. All you need is a needle popping. They go to flying all over the place. Put a hot air, man. We know. Nor sworn deceitful. Nor what? Nor sworn deceitful. Nor sworn deceitful, man. Do the work, man. Go home. Do the work. Love your brother, your sister, and sisters, sisters. This is about the work, man. We are the light to the nation. When somebody comes through them doors, we got to be there for them, man. We got to have to get the table clean out there. We might have to go to operate. You know what I'm saying? Pencils, give me this. I need this to try to help them. You know, I mean, we, we are a team, man. We are one. So we can't do it by ourselves. So you see people out there by themselves called strike. That's a nigga. Not even call them Israelite. See, we have to be prepared, man. And that's your mind daily. Get your mind in order. We have to do these things. We can't just... We got we got garbage all over the place, place not in order. So when somebody come in the door, we're going to infect their mind. People don't think like that. They're too busy trying to find that 20. Get those pennies, man. Those pennies going to add up to a nickel. Then the nickel, once you get more pennies, they're going to add up to a dime. Then you got a quarter. Then you got a dollar. Then you got five dollars. See, now you got a base. See, we, 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 we reach it. Trying to find that 20, man. That's taking your time going through the scriptures and get some under pure understanding. Get your mind right in this truth. Back to Matthew 5 and 9. The fruit of St. Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, see, they don't want, they don't want to hear these scriptures, man. The drama got to continue. We got to be niggas in this truth. Read that again. Blessed are the peacemakers. I'm, we, we the peacemakers, man. We want peace in Israel, man. We tired of the garbage. So step up, Ock, whoever you are. Don't care what camp you are or what school. Step up. We here. Call us. We ain't here for the drama. We here for the brotherly love, man. The sisterly love. We here about family. We here about healing our nation and seeing them Seeing us do it by our action. Blessed are the peacemakers. Read on. For they shall be called the children of God. They're going to be called what? The children of God. Because some of these people thinking they're going to get in as niggas, man. <coughs> See, we peacemakers. We ain't got time for the garbage out here in this world, man. We in captivity. I'm over here like this every day. She's going to let this wall, man. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to make it bigger for our whole nation. Come help me chisel at this wall, man. Stop running your mouth. It ain't helping me over here. Stop with the garbage, man. I'm over here chiseling. I'm over here killing myself for my nation. Not for myself. That's the problem. When you don't, you, you, you don't understand what this movement is about. And I'm going to continue to chisel. Because that's what I was called to do. Acts 10 and 36. That's the problem with our nation. We're too busy trying to chisel for a, a school. We need to be chiseling for our nation. That's, right. That's the problem with our peoples, man. Read up the book of Acts, chapter 10, and verse 36. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel. Man, what did the word that he sent to us? The word which God sent unto the children of Israel. Read. Preaching peace. What? Preaching peace. No, we don't want to keep strife for we preaching peace. We know by Jesus Christ. We know He is Lord of all. No, no, you see that's the problem. We want we got we got we got elders that's Lord of us all right now, man. We have to understand we up under Yahweh authority, man. That's right. When he put the spirit on you, do as he say to. 
Don't be Jonah in this truth, man. Don't be that. Back to Matthew 5 and 10. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness. Because we're going to be persecuted by our own people, man. Some of these people in this truth for righteousness. They can't stand that, man. Read. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We waiting on that, man. Read. Blessed are ye. When men shall revile you, men's gonna hate you, man, for stepping up, for being that Israelite, being that light to the nation so people can see our good works. See, they looking at me, you know, he ain't got a not good enough car, his house ain't big enough, he ain't got this, he ain't got that, that's the word about the wrong thing. I'm trying to get to the kingdom, man. Ain't nothing here going with us. Your nice car is gonna be burnt to, burnt to smithereen. Your house will be burned down. See, that lets you know you focus on the wrong thing. But read on. And persecute you. And they're going to persecute you. You know, when you start speaking in righteousness of, for your heart, your house, they're going to persecute you. Now you're going to see four, five videos. Read. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. What? Against you falsely. Falsely, man. Read. For my sake. For who? For my sake. Speaking under the power of your Yahweh shot, man. If you don't like it, drop dead, man. That's right. You're not heard of the soothe people's, pat people's on the head. Good job. That's what people want in this nation, man. Your, your reward is at the kingdom, man. That's what you should be striving for, the kingdom. Read on. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. I'm very glad, man, because I know what I'm working for. I'm not working for it to stay here, man. Read. For great is your reward in heaven. For what, what, what great is our reward in heaven, not, not this garbage here. Read. For so persecuted they the prophet. They even did our forefathers like this, man. Read. Which were before you. Understand, man. See, people don't understand the scriptures. They're too caught up in emotions and everything else, man. I'm here to do work, man. That's right. I'm here to be. Like Christ. I want people to see me in that spirit, man, that I'm doing as my forefather, as the greatest man that walked the planet. I'm not looking up to no man, man. I'm looking up to our God that's going to come here and take us out of this mess. I know we not, I'm not worthy to even tie a shoe, but I'm a beater just in case he need me to. Read. Ye are the salt of the earth. What are we? Ye are the salt of the earth. We know. But if the salt have lost his savior. Some of the salt, some have been in the truth so long, they don't lost their savior, man. They don't know what's going on no more, man. Read. Well, what shall it be salt? Well, what good is it for, man? Read. It is fit for good for nothing. Some of these people in the truth is good for nothing now, man. See, they don't understand the scriptures, man. It's a spiritual thing. Read. But to be cast out. It's going to be what? But to be cast out, we know, and to be trodden under foot, under the what? Under foot, we know, of me, we know. Ye are the light of the world. What are we? The light of the world. We're supposed to walk like this, man. Act like this. Be like this daily. Not, not when we ready to go at war with our own people. We're supposed to live like this. This is our everyday life, man. We're not supposed to be in and out the faith. We're supposed to have a foundation. You can't be coming in this truth with cracks in your foundation. And some of us got cracks in our foundation. Read. A city that is set on a hill. That's set on what? On a hill. We know. Cannot be here. It what? Cannot be here. Can't be here, man. It will never be here. Read. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. See, because when they do that, they're not coming out here doing the work, man. They, they, they light their candle and they, they put it under a bushel, man. They don't want to be seen. They don't have their fringes out. You see, some of them, they got their fringes tucked in their clothes. See? I'm going to let my light shine, man. Read on. Put on a candlestick and then give it light unto all that are in the house. That light is for Israel, man. That light is for our nation. Read. Let your light so shine before me. Do what? Let your light so shine before me. It's because people want to put your light out because they, I'm going to tell you something. They're going to come. They're going to come. They're going to come. I tell Bruce all the time. See, as long as I'm in that spirit, man, I don't worry about what they do. See, I know some of them ain't going to make it. That's I heard that don't want to let that light shine. We Israelites. Israelites have fringes on their clothes. 
Sisters wear dresses. Men have beards. There's order in the kingdom. There's family. You feel your nation. It's love and it's peace. Read on. That they may see your good work. That they may what? See your good work. So many things I don't know what I'm going to say, but it, it comes out in the scriptures. You feel the message. They see your good works, man. Read. And glorify your father. Glorify who? And glorify your father. See, we're here to glorify our fathers, man. We're not here to glorify elders, no man, man. We're here to glorify our father. We should be acting as a nation, not as individual schools. Read. Which is in heaven. Which is where? Which is in heaven. Because he's not down here. The root failing one. That's the problem with our nation, man. We 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 got things construed wrong, man. We 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 it's all we me 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 ah 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 it's a nation, man. We are the book of the root, chapter four, verse one. We know this is the book of the commandments of God. What is this book? The commandments of God. This is not the book of beings. This is the book of the commandments of God, man. We and the law. That it do it for him. Some of them discard some of these laws, man. Read. All they that keep it shall come to light. See, some of y'all should know some people are in sin. Read. But such as leave it shall die. Some of them sitting around dead men in their congregation. Read on. Turn thee, O Jacob. It's a turn, Jacob. Read. And take hold of it. Take hold of these laws, man. Read. Walk in the presence of the light bearer. That's the truth. Read. That thou may be illuminated. And thou may be illuminated for the nations, for our peoples, man. Very important. Read. Give not thy honor to another. Give not your glory to another man, another nation, man. Read. Nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Read on. O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to God. See, the things that are pleasing to God, read, are made known unto us. It's being made known to y'all. But see, some of y'all don't want to do that, man. Some of the people, some of our nation, man, they don't want to do these things that's pleasing to God. We don't. Be of good cheer. We say, be of good cheer, read. My people, we know. The memorial of Israel. The whole, the memorial of Israel. This is the memorial of Israel bringing our nation back, man, of what we used to be. How are we supposed to act? We're supposed to be an example to the nations. We can't be that being a pretender like. We can't be that being an Israel nigga. We can't be that lording over God's flock. We can't be that when we're not communicating amongst the nation. We can't be that when we're not a nation. This is nation building, not school building, man. That's right. Get it, don't get it twisted. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 3, 1 and 11. A lot of them ain't going to like it, but that's how T.I. is. Mm -hmm. That's the most high, not me. We. The book Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 11. Therefore, beware of murmuring. They love that, man. They say, beware of it. Because most I can bring judgment to you quick, man. Beware of that murmuring, man. That's negativism. Nothing positive about murmuring. Read. Which is unprofitable. It is what? Unprofitable. It is unprofitable, man, in Israel. Read. And refrain your tongue from backbiting. Stop it, Israel. Stop the garbage, man. Stop the madness out there. You being warned. Read. For there is no word so secret. There's no word so secret. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to talk about him. Ain't nobody over here have to know it. Most I got everything, boy. You better better check your spirits. Read. That shall go for now. It's not going to go for now. Read. And the mouth that believeth. That be lying, slave the soul. What do they do? Slave the soul. Some of y'all don't even know y'all out of, out of character, man. You in sin. You slaying your own your own nation's soul. Read on. Seek not death in the error of your life. Hold on. What did he say? Seek not death in the error of your life. This is correction to Israel, man. No matter what school you in, what camp you what you what you claim, 
This is nation building. This ain't school. This ain't about a school, man. This is about a nation. Read. And pour not upon yourselves destruction with the works of your hands. With the works of your hands, man. We on. For God made not death. He went. For God made not death. We on. Neither had he pleasure in the destruction of the living. You see, the ones that are awakened, man. He don't have pleasure in putting you to death. But he got to, man. He got to, he got, when you got cancer, you got to go get it out. You know, I'm going to let this cancer grow, man. It ain't going to hurt me. Then it kills you. When you smoking that cigarette, it's going to kill you. When you smoking that herb, it's going to kill you. When you eat that pork, it's going to kill you. When you been a nigga in this truth, it's going to kill you, man. They don't want to hear that, though. Matthew 7, 21. See, we're dealing with Israelites today, man. Maybe our nation can see us and see our light shining. Read that right quick, God. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 7 and verse 21. Not every one that said unto me, Lord, Lord. They're going to be Lord, Lord, read on. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Read on. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. See, the one that does the will of the Father that's in heaven. Read on. Many will say to me in that day. Many are going to say in that day, read. Lord, Lord. These are talking about Israelites, man, read. Have we not prophesied in thy name? Have my school not prophet? We not on that camp prophesied in your name, read. And if thy name have cast out devils? If we don't wake up peoples and cast out devils, read. And if thy name done many wonders, read. We have done many wonders, read. We know. And then will I profess unto them. And then he going to say directly to them, read. I never knew you. He say what? I never Never knew you because he's saying this. I go to I go to this school. What he gonna say? I never knew you. And he gonna say I'm on the internet doing the work. He gonna say what? I never knew you. See, he gonna say he never knew you, man. Read. Depart from me. He gonna say what? Depart from me. Read on. You that work in me because they in sin, man. That's the problem with our nation. They don't know they in sin. They think it's a game, man. They thinking they gonna pull the wolves over the power line. That's how much game that they think they got. That's right. Psalms 5 and 4. See, they don't understand what this book is saying. Some of them walk around with their bag on their backpack, have it in their backpack all day long. They still ain't applying it. That's what's wrong with the nation. Read that up. The book of Psalms, chapter 5 and verse 4. For thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness. He, he, hold up. What, what did he say? For thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness. Read on. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. He's not going to dwell in here, man. He's going to purge it out. Read. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. What did he call him? The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. He's talking about awakened Israelites, man. That's what he calling you foolish because you understand what's in this book, but you don't apply it. We don't. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou what? Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. We don't. Thou shalt destroy them that speak least. They gonna destroy them that they like to lie, man. He's gonna put them to sleep, man, and they deserve it. Like I tell you, I don't share. I won't share a tear. We. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. He's gonna. He's gonna uh, hate the bloody and deceitful man or woman. We're here to warn our nation, man. This ain't about school building. It's about nation building. That's right. We know we got schools, man. We want people to come and learn how to deal and get along with their brothers and sisters. That's what the most high want. But we don't want the strife and the garbage anymore. Ezekiel 20 and 33. I'm just telling you what the spirit leads me to. Not what a man think about me. What a man think about me means nothing to me. That's right. Read that up. The book, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 33. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out, will I rule over you. He said with fury poured out, man, will I rule over you, man. Now we're gonna think we're gonna get away with some things, but read on. And I will bring you out from the people. See, he said, see now we're gonna listen to this dumb dumb camp that's telling everybody to flee, man. See, it's some dumb, it's some dumb dumb camps out there, man. And people believe it. And they they, they got a lot of members too, cause it is a very effeminate camp, man. 
I'm going to call it like I see it. We on. And I will, and will gather you out of the countries where you are scattered. See, they don't worry about that, man. They'll lead you somewhere, man, and leave you stranded. Read. With a mighty hand. You going to do it. Read. And with a stretched out arm. And with fury poured out. Read on. And I will bring you into the wilderness. He's going to what? And I will bring you into the wilderness. Read on. Of the people. And there will I plead with you face to face. Face to face, man. He's going to deal with you face to face. See, some of us, see, we don't want that, man. That's why it's best to get yourself right now. Wait till that time. But read on. Like as I pleaded with your father. Like as who? Like as I pleaded with your father. Read on. In the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, said the Lord God. Read on. And I will cause you to pass under the rod. He's going to what? Cause you to pass under the rod. I don't know what the rod is, man. Some of y'all keep playing games in this truth, man. Keep being a nigga in this truth. We on. And I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. That new covenant. We on. And I will purge out from among you the rebel. He's going to do what? Purge out from among you the rebel. He's going to let some of them make it, man, just to show you what his power is about. He's going to kill a lot of them, man. Read. And them that transgress against me. See, we don't. I will bring forth, I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn. We don't. And they shall not enter into the land of Israel. They're not going to enter into the land of Israel. We don't. And you shall know that I am the Lord. See, you're going to know that he the Lord, man. Luke 19, 27. See, play, keep playing games in the truth, man. See, some of these schools, they're not teaching this, man. They're not making people get checked their spirits. I'm going to tell you something. It's going to come a time, man. Read on. The book of St. Luke, chapter 19, verse 27. But those my enemies. He said, but those my enemies of our own nation. Read. Which would not that I should reign over them. Read. Bring hither. Read on. And slay them before me. He said, put them to death, man. Because when he tell me, I'm going to go to snatch your necks out sockets, man. I'm going to go to put people to sleep, man. And this is a message to these schools, man. Stop the madness, man. It starts at the head. It starts at the top. So if the top ain't putting the, putting the fire out, then he's enjoying that garbage, man. It won't be none of that garbage coming out of one body, man. Right. We're going to be that example. We're going to be that light to the nation, man. And we're going to continue bonding with our brothers in other schools, man. We're not going to be that, that school that want to be separate, man. We're not going to be that school that, that, that got, got, a, got our nose up our own kid, man. We're not going to be that, man. We're going to be about our nation. Your brother might need you, man. He might need information. Why not be there for it? On that note, shalom. Shalom.